Have you ever wondered if there's a better way to manage your JavaScript functions? If you've been using set timeout with a zero delay, you might be in for a surprise. Today, we're diving into the debate between set timeout and request animation frame. I totally get it. Many developers have relied on set timeout to control the execution order of their functions, especially when dealing with UI updates. It's a common practice, and you're definitely not alone in this. Here's the specific question we're tackling today. One user asked, are there any cases where set timeout with a zero delay is better than request animation frame? This is a great question, and it's something many of us have pondered. To understand this, we need to look at how both methods work. Set timeout with a zero delay pushes your function to the end of the event queue, while request animation frame is specifically designed for animations and UI updates, syncing with the browser's refresh rate. Stay with me. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly when to use each method, and I promise you'll feel more confident in your coding decisions. To understand when to use set timeout with zero delay, the user should first recognize that it allows for immediate execution after the current call stack is cleared. This can be useful for certain scenarios. One case where set timeout might be more beneficial is when the user needs to ensure that a function runs after all other synchronous code, including UI updates, has completed. Another scenario is when the user is working with third-party libraries that may not be optimized for request animation frame. In such cases, using set timeout can help avoid potential performance issues. Lastly, if the user needs to execute a function in a non-visual context, such as handling data processing or network requests, set timeout can be a straightforward choice. Fun fact. Did you know that Request Animation Frame was introduced in 2010? It's been a game changer for web animations, allowing developers to create smoother experiences without taxing the browser. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. The user clarifies that set timeout with zero delay and request animation frame are not the same. Using set timeout allows a function to run as often as possible while request animation frame limits calls to once per frame, typically 60 times a second. This makes request animation frame more suitable for animations as it aligns updates with the display refresh rate. Now, let's shift our focus to a different response. One user points out that while request animation frame is generally preferred, there are scenarios where set timeout with a zero delay might be more beneficial. They note that request animation frame can reduce callback rates in background tabs, which could slow down long running code. However, they emphasize that set timeout wasn't designed for this purpose either. Interestingly, a performance test showed that request animation frame is significantly faster than set timeout. For example, running a loop with request animation frame took about 80 milliseconds, while set timeout took around 225 milliseconds. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. According to another user, the choice between set timeout with zero delay and request animation frame depends on the context. For animations, request animation frame is preferred, while for real-time processes, set timeout with zero delay is faster. They explain that request animation frame operates like set timeout with a delay of about 16 milliseconds, making set timeout zero delay quicker. However, request animation frame is more precise than set timeout. Here's a quick tip. If you're unsure which method to use, think about the context. For UI updates, lean towards request animation frame. For immediate execution needs, set timeout might be your friend. And there you have it. You now have a clear understanding of when to use set timeout versus request animation frame. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more coding tips and tricks.